I finished high school. Uh, right in the heart of the Depression in 1932. My daddy was a cattle buyer and he had put up money in the bank of Pontotoc for me to go to Ole Miss. I was just 17 miles from Ole Miss and I was going to go to school with Ole Miss. And in January, before I was to graduate in April, Pontotoc Bank closed all, froze all their assets. Every, my, every penny my daddy had put up for me to go to Ole Miss could not be moved. It was frozen in the bank of Pontotoc. Well, I was so depressed. I had a teacher, Brother Charlie Nelson. He was my Pat Baptist pa pastor. And he knew how set I was on going to school to be a teacher. And he called me to his room one day and he said, Cleo, uh, <clears throat> I know how disappointed you are. And I know that uh, your daddy it was like me. Every penny he had was frozen at uh, Pontotoc Bank. I said, yes, Mr. Charlie. And I said, my whole life, is just shattered because I want to be a, wanted to be a teacher. He said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, they have a state teacher's examination and it's going to be at Oxford in about two weeks. And said, there's more, more than one in the school that wanted to take that, do that too. He said, I want y'all to go and take that state teacher's examination. He says it's an examination on 16 subjects, but said you've had every one of them, and you're capable of making a passing grade that you can teach in an eighth grade school. Well, of course, that was a little encouragement. Well, the time came, and we went. There was a car full of us, six of us, went, and we went three days, took exams on 16 subjects in three days, and it took a while for us to get our grades back, you know, and of course we, we prayed and <laughs> cried and did everything else in between time. But I passed everything, made a good grade on every subject, this, all 16 subjects. And I was given a grade A teacher's certificate. I could teach from the, from the eighth grade down in any school. 